3 to 12 power front focal plane mill mill scope. Scope took a nice bit of impact. Okay, we just rode from the rifles only tower down to the area of the carbine pit with the rifle and scope uh, just tied to the back of the four wheeler bouncing around. You can see the lines and the marks in it. Uh, took a brunt of the stock. Cerakote held up well. Uh, just took some of the Krylon off, but uh, not a big deal. Although you can definitely see it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, check the zero and see how the um, scope held up. We took it from uh, 300 to 1,000. And then... Um, Brought it up and down several times. Looks to have about uh, 20 mils of usable. I have a near R35 base on this rifle. So uh, with that, it has 100 yard zero, no problem. As well, it looks like we have about 20 mils of usable elevation. Uh, only needed about 10.5 for this rifle in the Southwest ammo to get to 1,000 yards. So, uh, you know, well within the middle of the spectrum there. Okay, the shot on the left was the zero this morning. Uh, on the right is what I just saw now. Uh, you can see it sort of settled in and then came back to position. So uh, not awful, uh, that first round. Heck, maybe it was even me, you never know. Um, but then it, it looked like it settled into where it wanted to be. So we have our zero on the left and then uh, what we have after shooting to a thousand yards riding on the back of the four-wheeler about 650 yards and then firing five rounds. Starting at the front, 44 millimeter objective, 30 millimeter main tubes, uh, one-tenth mil adjustment, Parallax uh, from 15 yards out to infinity, 3 to 12 power, illuminated reticle, uh, rapid diopter adjustment. It's got the rain guard HD for the multi coat on the lenses. For an $850 scope, uh, they did a nice job putting this together. It has all the best features one could ask for at a, at a under a thousand dollar price tag. We, we we found you know a little bit of shift but the scope came back to working in its uh, original uh, condition you know we blew it up we dragged it on the back of the four-wheeler and drove it uh, 650 yards we had some shift happen with it but dial it out and and, and it's repeating so the scope is doing its job um, we're, we're just really beating the hell out of it to see what it's gonna do they um Got a nice little chunk taken out of there. You can see I can't get any of that sandblasting off from the Tannerite. So um, they, they really put together a strong scope. Uh, Bushnell did a nice job on it. Scope took a nice little impact from underneath. Scope took a nice little bit of impact and there is a dent right here. That's still turning. Knobs look good. Everything looks like it'll work. So we're going to see what it does at 100, how it took the impact. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to come up uh, 0.6 with its reading on the mills, see if it starts to group. We check the torque on everything. Everything seems to be okay right now. So we're just going to come up 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and put a round down there and see what happens. Dead center. It's responding. So it's not pretty by any means, but there it is. I had to make an adjustment. You can see I got it back on and center punched it on the other side and it's sort of settling in. Three tenths, it started out six and then it went to three tenths. Took some shots to recover from the explosion. The, the high at one o'clock shot was a 0.6, came down to 0.3, it hit center. Then I came over to the other target and shot 
a little bit of me there. I hit that one out far right a bit. But otherwise, um, it's starting to settle right back in. I'm going to call that a win. I mean, you may never be as tough on your rifles as we are on this one. Uh, Tom gave us this. He shipped this stock, no wrapping, no nothing. We took it out. Cerakote did their thing. Uh, blew it up, dragged it, dropped it. We did all kinds of stuff. You may never be this tough on your stuff. But when something happens and you're worried about it, you know it's going to survive. Well, that ain't good. Still working. Oops. Try that again. So, I think they did a great job on it. Tom with his stock, Cerakote with their coating. It's a great combination. <laughs> Final round in the sniper's high dot target. He's going to have 10 seconds to drop down and fire one round on the last dot. Gun! It took eight seconds. Clear it out. 